welcome to the fourth episode of the Folium Guide. Uh, in this video we're going to discuss how to make the map more interactable, uh, placing markers uh, on the locations where we click, and we're later going to use this to uh, make it easier to show how we're sending the coordinates and which ones we're sending, as well as uh, trying to make polygons or closed shapes uh, on the Folium map just by clicking. We can then store, store those shapes in Python. Um, in between video 3 and now, uh, I made a quick bits video on how to remove duplicate code. Because as you can see in the last video, we introduced these two functions to find the variable names. And we I showed how we are going to replace it with this function um, in order to um, uh, remove the duplicate code basically. So it's a better practice. Uh, so I'll quickly look in that file as well because we changed the way we use them. Let me fix this. So you can see we had a function for each of them and I'll replace it with find variable and then passing uh, the extra, st extra start of the variable name. But the functionality is the same. Okay, so let's get started. We want to inject some extra JavaScript code, which we learned how to do in the previous video. Um, and we want to basically uh, inject something that says when you click or when this pop-up marker is supposed to appear. Um, place a marker on that location. Uh, so let's get started adding a marker in Folium. Marker. So we'll say Folium.marker. So we'll add one first using the normal way in Folium. And then once we know how it looks like in the HTML, we can use that to make our custom code or injected code. Location uh, equals some location. And I'll use the center location. Perfect. Uh, and then we need to make sure that we add it to our vmap. Something I always forget. Okay, we'll run our code. Okay, and as we can see, the HTML file changed and we got this marker. And what's important to notice is that it, cr it looks like it creates a variable here referring to the marker, but we don't see any use here. Um, but what we do see what is very interesting is this section, and that's the way they create a marker, uh, which is something we can copy. Right, so we will we can perform this in our custom code, and we've got access to this variable name since we uh, find it over here. Sorry, this. So let's grab this section, and let's paste it in the custom code section. Perfect. And we need to make sure we are uh, only using single quotes, uh, but that seems to be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I don't think the single quote thing is a problem, but we do need to change this variable name. So as you see, we have percent %s's here, where we have the variable names. So we'll remove this with percent %s. And since it's the third one, we'll make the next thing in here the map variable name as well. So we place it into the string literal. Um, and we say that we place the uh, marker on the same spot each time we click, which is something we're not interested in, but we're interested in placing it on the latitude and longitude of the click itself. So we will place these numbers by the event variables. Or, yeah, basically that. Okay, and I believe this needs to be there um, since it needs to be in the JavaScript. Okay, so let's execute our Python again and see what happens. Perfect. So this is the custom code we've created. It says marked by the comments. And as you can see, we added that when we click, we also want to add a marker on this position and we want to add it to the map and it looks a lot like the way we placed the marker before. So let me remove the folium marker which we placed in Python and only have the markers be there that we click for. So let me run the code again and it removes this unnecessary marker at the bottom. And now we can open our folium map in the browser and we'll click. And it also gets the pop-up going. Um, but we place a marker each time we click. And at this point, we don't store the marker at all, but uh, we can add some custom code, which we'll do uh, probably in the episode where we create shapes. We'll store multiple markers or locations together, which then will be a shape which is stored, um, which will then transfer to Python. Okay, uh, is there anything else? I think it's nice um, we can comment out, for example, um, all the pop-up code. Um, it seems kind of weird to comment out what we just what we made in the previous episode, but uh, it was just for the purpose of uh, making clear uh, how it's done. 
and now we only get the marker for which we click. Um, so let's uh, execute that again and then the uh, latitude longitude pop-up from volume won't be in the way. Alright, so now that you know how to make an interactable map, in the next episode we're going to discuss how to get the coordinates from the folium HTML file. So when I click here, I want my Python to say, you know, like variable received or uh, coordinate received, and it's this, or shape received. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. If you're interested in this, or that this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.